Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Shiyu here, as promised, and we're here for our episode two uh, for the Natasha Denona's newest uh, retro palette. In today's video, we continue to explore this palette. I'm gonna uh, show you guys a lot of you know comparisons and analysis kind of work of this palette. I'm gonna show you guys all these 15 colors on the eyelids with itself, like individually, so that you get really good idea of how it's gonna turn out on your eyelids. I'm sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> with his squeaking toys. However, um, then I'm just uh, do two different eye looks for today. One is like all matte. Another is like a creative. I'm gonna combine retro with glam because that's uh, what Natasha Denona has set herself. Maybe you could pair these two together. They're gonna do like a perfect combination or uh, balance between two color stories or the tones. And finally, I'm gonna compare this palette to maybe one of the mm, uh, closest uh, color story palette, which is the Huda Beauty's uh, Naughty palette i know we compared uh naughty palette to a uh, pamograph uh mothership number nine last video and i guess um huda just has this really popular and you know a useful color story that a lot of other brands would come out uh, similar kind of color stories to it but we're just going to compare them and if you're interested please keep on watching and let's first dive into how these uh, 15 colors apply on your lids individually so first of all, we're gonna try out two lightest uh, matte shades on my lids. First color is the matte. It is like a, a off-white color with some uh, subtle pink base to it. As you can see, it actually shows up on my lids like a super white. You can almost use it as like a base, settle your uh, foundation underneath, and probably you can use it as your highlight or cut crease kind of you know colors. And then we have the VVN. It's like a, a baby pink kind of a color. And unfortunately, I think this color shows on my lid the same as uh, how the matte color does. It's just uh, not showing itself like it's just like a setting powder itself uh, or otherwise you could use as a Highlight or contrast color after you have applied, you know other darker colors It will show up more prominently and next up we have uh, a bunch of you know first layer kind of base colors We have the cool tone side. So we have the Andy. It's like a smoky dusty uh, Purple rosy kind of pink and we have nude moth. It's um, more like a taupe uh, dark uh, you know just that nude color and these two are like definitely more cool toned and then we have some uh, you know warm toned base colors we have the gogo -Go. it's as i said super cute super friendly super nice like a rosy pink color on uh, your lids as a base mm, super daily appropriate too and then we have the rebellion although it appears quite deep in the pan it shows up as like a, a very kind of red pink on your lids especially it's a cream to powder formula so it's just gonna you know really uh, have that uh, color fading effect where it's just gonna be lighter than what it is showing in the pan so it's actually very ideal for your lid uh, base kind of color and we also could use patty this mysterious cream to powder slash metallics color as your base it's more like a nude um, kind of orangey almost uh, you know pink color and these are like the first layers of base colors then we have like the depth shade where you're just gonna use it as your outer thirds to create more depth on your lids we first have the groove color it's like the perfect definition of mauve, uh, you know, purple red. And I guess if you have to use it, you know, really appropriately or otherwise it's like a, you know, blood stain uh, because it's that kind of color and we also have the swing. It's a metallics. This one, it's not a matte. However, I think this kind of a pure purple metallics, it's more appropriate to use as your depth shade uh, within uh, certain areas, smaller areas. And we then have the apart, it's the brown color, which is also very useful as like a depth color or eyeliner color, smoky kind of color. And we have uh, like the Amara color, it's like a vintage red darker uh, than rebellion and it's just a uh, warm red then we have uh, the other uh, you know topper shade we have the helio shade it's also like a nude copper shade uh, i guess this one i can accept it as like an all over the lid kind of color because it's slightly uh, lighter than the other metallics in this pan and it's also really beautiful of course uh, and then we have jute jute is like more silvery and if you're not doing the full glam it's also ideal for your outer thirds or transition between your center eyelids uh, with your outer thirds so that's jute and then finally the special uh, textures we have the glitz this uh, dual chrome color uh, and also psychedelic this uh, crystal chrome color I guess these two are really um, you know 
seeing it applying on itself you don't really see any base color to it that's why I really recommend you guys to use it after you have layered down the first uh, a few layers and you have some color base I think these two are gonna show up more uh, shiny and prominently and more flattering on your lids uh, instead of use it uh, you know just individually but however if you like that kind of effect you can use it you know just single-handedly so yeah, these are like the 15 colors uh, on my lids, applied onto my lids uh, individually. So you really get to see like the real colors of them transferred uh, onto my lids. And I think that's going to be helpful as a guide or reference when you guys are trying to create some eye looks. And next up, we're going to do our uh, two more uh, eye looks today. Uh, let's just dive right in. Okay guys, so our first all matte uh, earthy tone kind of eye look, I'm just going to first go in with the uh, Gogo color as like an all over my lid base also gonna adapt some of the Vivian uh, color to help transit out this color all the way to brow bone so so that's like our base of this uh, eye look and then I'm going in with the matte color to give my brow bone some highlight next step I'm gonna use nude mauve this color as our first layer of on your outer thirds. I'm also gonna swipe this color onto my lower eyelid, uh, lower lash line, I guess, too. And then for like a topper shade of this kind of an all matte color a story, I guess you're just gonna really utilize like the lightest matte shade in this pan, which is the matte color. Again, we used to highlight our brow bone. So I'm dabbing some of the matte and just like that. This is what I meant by, you know, not only you can use this kind of a light matte shade as the base settling powder, you can also do like a cut craze, highlight, you name it. Also gonna swipe this uh, color onto like the inner corner here. Do the inner corner thing with this matte shade. All right, so now I'm gonna take use of the Apart color to draw like a eyeliner like here and as well as make it like, you know, the last layer of the depth color. And use a Q-tip to perfect the ending, you know, shape of your liner. Super lifted kind of eye look. We're gonna finish it off with the mascara, the liquid eyeliner, and see the final result. All right guys, so this is our first eye look created today using the Retro palette. This is a all matte kind of eye look, and I guess for a lot of uh, people, uh, sometimes we need to really scale back from the craziness in the glitter, shimmery world, uh, you know, land up here with some, you know, just uh, down to earth, all matte kind of eye look. And this one is definitely giving me more of the feminine side of myself. And I just feel so, so romantic. And I don't know, like this uh, all matte eye look, it's just a different definitely different from where you just use all the glitters um yeah i guess sometimes we really uh could use of uh, some of that quietness you know scaling back from the crazy eyeshadow um, glitters i guess again and yeah um what do you think i'm just uh falling in love with the retro palette even more it's so versatile and it's just uh meeting my expectations in every single aspect so moving on to our next eye look we're just gonna take use of this palette together with the glam and let's see how these two are gonna you know work together will they or not i don't know let's let's see <laughs> first of all i'm just gonna use gogo -Go as our base as always it's almost my favorite color in this palette and use the matte color to you know again highlighting your brow bone as well as covering up uh, too much of the shape uh face shape and I use the tip of the brush to give my lower eyelid some base too. So for the outer thirds, I'm gonna use the outer eyelid uh, pure brown without that mauve tone compared to the opart. So you see, this is super brown, yellow brownie, whatever you call it. Then for the center eyelid, I'm going to use the inner corner shade uh, from Glam Palette. See that? 
And for the transition of the shade with my outer thirds color, I'm going to use the center eyelid color from Glam, uh, the first color in the palette, to place it right here, which is like a silver champagne rose kind of color. And adding back some of the depth here, blend it out. Then for my inner uh, one third, I'm gonna use the glitz from Retro. Inner inner corner psychedelic force. So um, for the lower lash line, I'm thinking to use the Helio shade to swipe it all over the lid. All right, guys, this is the uh, second eye look I created using the Retro palette. It's a combination or byproduct of the uh, Retro and the Glam palette. So this look is definitely like a full Glam vibe. As you saw, I uh, used a lot of the base colors from the Retro and then I used a lot of the topper metallic shades from uh, Glam because I figured that for the base colors in the Glam palette, it's now really flattering on me because of their uh, brown, taupey, it's uh, gonna turn out to be too muddy sometimes. However, the base colors in the retro palette um they are like the purple red pinks they are quite flattering on my skin tone or to my own pre uh, personal preference so yeah that's why i use these colors in such order and it definitely turns out to be like a full glam sexy you know evening kind of eye look i wouldn't do this you know for a daily uh you know makeup routine but it's still giving me uh you know that confident um I don't know, I own the room kind of a vibe. <laughs> That's what the glam palette always give me through the eye looks. Uh, now that we're uh, playing it with the retro, uh, the retro combined with the glam, I guess it's time for us to get to like the comparisons with one of the like the closest uh, color story I could ever find in my collection. So that's between the retro and the Huda Beauty's uh, Naughty palette. Let's get into it. So guys, this is like the comparison swatches of the retro palette with the uh, Huda Beauty Naughty palette. So this arm, I'm uh, doing the retro. This arm is the Huda Naughty Beauty. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, similar pairs of colors from these two palettes, all the way from you know your lightest matte baby pink shades to your nudie pink with some orange base to it, and then your uh, burgundy colors, your mauve colors, your purplish color, and then your uh, browny color. And then we have like similar shades to the nude mauve, like the small smoky taupey kind of nudes and then we have the helio similars like your nude copper shades and then the swing a uh, purple kind of shades and then finally like the very uh, hot red pink kind of color so as you can see like the color stories be behind the retro and the naughty palette are really similar to each other it's no, no matter like the burgundy purple red or like the whole purple red base to every single shade including like the brown colors these two are really similar in that regard however uh, based on my experience of using the naughty palette uh, extensively as well as you know doing like a quite comprehensive uh, review on this palette before on the Chinese platform, I can safely give you guys the conclusion that this Naughty palette, although it does have like 18 different shades, some of these shades when they are like uh, blending together, you know, layering up, they really lost that kind of, you know, color difference or color contrast and you lost your purpose of layering for once for all. Like, they, they just become all together and it's like a part, a huge part of stew where you don't see where it's like the main character of the show, where is the building foundation of colors. I mean, that's just a problem I encountered uh, using Naughty Palette. However, with Natasha's coloring, you can always see like the slightest a smallest uh, difference of colors and tones uh, no matter it's on the arm swatch or when you are using on the eyelids especially when you are layering them up you can definitely see like this there is like a complicated intricate uh, color story or you know just building of your uh, eyeshadow looks that's uh, what's special about this palette so uh, that's why although these two have such uh, similar color stories however if you do mind the kind of intricacy or details of an eye look you probably would uh, really prefer 
prefer like the Rachel or Natasha's formula in general. Um, I guess that's just a, uh, you know, some people will care about this, but some other people will say, well, I, I already have this one and I can create, you know, semi quasi, you know, similar look to Rachel. So I don't really need to get the Rachel. But I, let me tell you, like the Rachel or Natasha's uh, formulas and coloring in general, they're just gonna give you more, uh, I mean, intricacy and complexity and just, um, that integrated kind of eye look so yeah i guess that's all about the retro palette we've done like five eye looks we've done uh swatches we've done every single colors going onto the eyelid so you can really have like a concrete picture of what are they gonna turn out or how they're gonna pair with each other and we also have the comparisons uh as of now i can give you guys my final thoughts first of all i'm gonna say the coloring and the tone in this uh, retro palette is what makes this one so special to me although these purple red pink colors it's no longer like a news or you know one of a kind color story anymore however natasha's coloring and toning will make your eye looks you know appear somewhat you don't know where it is coming from but it's somewhat different from any other palette you can create uh, you know in such like a uh, red burgundy color uh you know area or story um world and second of all i'm quite satisfied with the textures you know the uh, formulas of different textures in here i guess i really appreciate like the cream to powder ones like they are all blending like a dream and uh for this two special topper shades they compared to whatever what's uh, coming out before they did improve uh quite a lot i have to say that however if they can you know uh, be even more stickier or even more shinier like our pamograph or charlotte at tilbury kind of formula of this shimmery or just uh, celestial kind of shades it will make natasha's eye looks even you know um I don't know more popular with us maybe because uh in uh back in asia or in my country we really appreciate you know super shiny formulas um a little bit or you know quite a lot over like the metallic spoiled look so maybe she could you know continue updating on these crystal chrome and uh, dual chrome formulas to make it you know more appealing to the market there but i guess compared to whatever it's done before to herself she has improved a lot we have to give her that credit and the metallics are as usual portfolio they're beautiful and i guess i just i love this palette i i mean it, you can use this to create your super glam look just as of now or the last look of my first impression video or you could create the all matte the uh, nude uh, pink kind of color story they're all daily appropriate and this is definitely useful in daily life and i have to say that just as i said before retro probably will become one of the most frequently used uh, palette from natasha denona for myself because you know how it is we love this kind of color story and that's everything for today's video and also everything for the retro palette please feel free as uh, the same as before if you have questions you have thoughts uh to leave a comment down below please don't uh, forget to give a thumbs up to this video again my name is she Yu. i'm a bilingual content creator here on youtube as well as on Bilibili. so this video does also have a chinese version to it uh if you want to check that one out definitely go for it and i guess i will just see you guys in my next video i hope you have a great day uh See you, bye.